Ladies, this is Roman Berlick, but I guess you already know that. Leave a message. Hello? Hello. Uh, is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians, uncivilized, like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I... I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village, and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Привет, what is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Uh... You stupid uh... bitch! Uh... <laughs> Nicobelic baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. Uh, what did you want? Uh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money. Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Schottler on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here.
calculating route. You have arrived. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, pick of the explosives. You should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating route. Drive safely. I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. Out of my way! Can you believe the salaries of cops in the south? Man, 
Hey, where you going, man? So can you take me to Mohawk Avenue, yes? You got it. I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man, pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me? Don't fuck about, let's go. No problem, I live for this shit. Here we are, man. End of the line. Thanks. Give me one of them. Another customer, Santi's Vecchio. Thank you. Come and bite this bum chihuahua. Nico, it's Roman. I was talking to Brucey. That roid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours, too, if you let him. Anyway, he's got some work, and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Autos on Mohanad in East Hook. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. See you later. Guy. We will meet again! I will have knives! Hey. Uh... Hello? I'm busy. I said hello. Ow! Motherfucker! Is your boss around? What'd you do that for? Is your boss around? Yeah, he's around. Brucey, some fucking Polak asshole for you. Pleasure to meet you, too. He's not a Polak. He's a gentleman. Still a fucking asshole. Sorry, Nikki, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, can you show me that again? <laughs> ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Enough, man! Enough! Oh! Ooh. Fuck me, be man. all right, huh? Ooh, that's some Red Army shit. Serious. You gotta show me that one. I'm all about power. Come on, touch my backs, man. No, thank you. Rock hard. I bench 450. I'm like, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, no shit. What are you doing here, man? Well, Roman said maybe you needed some help and we need some money real bad. Shit, my bad. Yeah, of course. Love that guy. Love him. I mean, I am no chubby chaser, but if I was and a queer, that guy would be in trouble. You know what I'll I mean? let them know. <laughs> hey, I'm shitting with you. Brucey likes pussy. Remember that, right? Okay. All right, now, Nikki, listen up. I know you guys need money. Bad. Yeah. This ain't a nice job. Not exactly mom and pop shit. No problem, as long as the pay is good. Sometimes people fuck other people over, okay? And the people that fuck other people need to get fucked with, especially people that go into hiding before they can get on the stand and put a lot of guys inside for a lot of time. What? I need you to whack some people, only they're in hiding. How do I find them? Man, you're cold. You didn't even blink. Love that. I fucking love that. You gotta steal a police car. Get on the computer. Give me a call. There is a hack. Not really. All right, Brucey. I'll give you a call. Ice cold, man. Ice cold.
geniuses at City Hall can't even keep this damn town moving. I'm here. I have a computer. You're a badass, man. I love it. Now this cat's name's Lyle Revis. Type it into the computer, and you should get some known whereabouts and shit. I take them out myself, but when people see me coming, they fucking run, man. Know what I'm saying? Cats don't want to mess with someone packing 24-inch guns like mine, baby. Yeah! I'll track down this Revis. Cold, man. I'm feeling chills down the phone. Call me when it's done, bro.
Lyle Rivas, I got the message from Brucey for you. Brucey? I thought he was fucking joking. Shit. worry about Rivas anymore. Lethal, man. A lot of people are going to be very grateful that certain people who fuck with them can't say things to other people or fuck with anyone anymore. If you get me. I get the money you're paying. You're all about the cabbage. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce. Ice cold, man. I love it. There'll be some more work when you need it. Enjoy that, but I'm in the middle of something. Okay, bad boy. I'm coming on you sometime. You seem a little tense. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just juicing. Makes me a little pent up. Juicing? Yeah. Bull shark testosterone, amigo. Ordered online from Chile. Makes you feel really male. Hey, be careful, man. I heard that stuff does funny things to your balls. Hey, do 
Do I look like I got funny balls to you? <laughs> I haven't considered it. Uh, you sent me a message. What do you want? I want help! I'm losing the plot here! Pause. Nah, I'm shitting you, man. Now look, you did really good with that thing. A lot of people are very grateful. Now listen, that guy Lyle had a car worth stealing. Can you get it? He left it in an alleyway off of Yorktown Avenue in Steinway. If you pay like last time, no problem. Yeah, of course. Any risks? Nah. Easy as can be. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll just go take care of it then. Yeah! Bye. No risks, Brucey? Maybe this juicing is fucking with your head. He trying to take Lyle's bribe. That's Lyle's bribe. Brucey asked me to bring this by. You're lucky it looks as good as it does. The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself in the mirror. Thanks. I'm robbing you. Don't make me kill you.
Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Faust. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. this thing. Sorry. Nico! Nico You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri, my brother, you see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. You should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri. Not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen. Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey. I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. God! You fight like a war, like spine like a war, that you are nothing but you are weak. Give up, the strong survive, and the weak. I got where I am for a reason, I will have some more kind of shit. I made 
you what you are, Nico. into the nest, and they destroyed everything. Faustin is dead. You did a good thing, a hard thing, but a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. 